Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Emax Interceptor radio controlled toy car. You've probably seen this already. Comes in two versions. This is the version that I got this version with no goggles because I didn't want the goggles that came with it. Or you can buy it in the version that comes with the goggles. So you get the car, the transmitter and the goggles or the car and the transmitter. The only thing you need to provide if it does that is a set of batteries for your controller. So in the box you get the car, one battery, a USB charging cable and a controller. Like I say, you get goggles in the pack. So this is the controller that it comes with. This is a quite generic type of RC controller for the toy grade stuff. When I say toy grade, this is a toy grade. And it's toy grade because the battery's held in with a screw, which makes it toy grade. It's actually officially toy grade, but that's why they have screws on, so kiddies can't put the batteries in the mouth. Um, why you'd want to, I don't know. So on here you have an on and off switch, you have your trigger, your steering, and a steering trim. It is fully proportional, believe it or not. So for a toy car, this is fully proportional, so the steering can be moved as slow as you want. It's not click, click, click. And it's the same with auto. You can just put a small amount on a lot. Now when I say a lot, it's still not a lot because this thing does not go quick. It has two wheel drive only. And look, when it sat down, look at the camber on the wheels. Now them cameras on the wheels being done on purpose. This thing's been set up to drive. You're probably wondering why my title says my favourite RC car ever. So I've got lots of RC cars now. I've got quite into them and I love them. But this thing is quite amazing. Because it's been set up just to drive and nothing not to be messed with. It's incredible. It's not quick. And if you're flying this, if you're flying it, if you're driving this just looking at it, you're not going to get it. It's when you put goggles on. This thing is truly amazing. The camera's here, so the camera's mounted and you can adjust it up and down, side to side. It swivels on there. The top is held on with two little clips. It just pushes in there and you can take that off to get inside it. If you want to charge it up that way. But you can take the top off and you can plug the USB charger in to charge the battery. I think it's a 300 milliamp hour battery that's inside here. I think that's what it came in stock, I can't remember. This hasn't got the stock battery in by the way. So let's just turn it off. So inside here I have one of these. This is the GNB450 which gives me around 11 minutes of runtime. And 11 minutes just didn't long enough. You're going to see from the video that's coming up of me driving it around my house, excuse the mess of the house, it was my little boys bursting not long ago, that's why the balloons and stuff lying around. But, it's just amazing. The thing's just incredible to drive. If you've never had to go at FPV and you thought about it, this is what you need to play with. This thing's amazing. If you could make a quad like this, it'd be amazing. You know, there's just something that easy to fly as this is to drive. Radio control cars, Although they look easy to drive, the people that drive these things, you watch videos on their YouTube channels, they're far better than I'm ever going to be. It's a bit of an art. With this, no, absolutely not. Put it down, turn it on underneath, turn your transmitter on there, and off you go. You can drive this slow. It does go quicker than this, obviously. You'll see from the video. But it's perfect for indoors for a kid to play with, or a big kid like me. It's absolutely perfect. It comes, this come out about £44, or I think it's £72 or £73, so let's turn this off, £72 or £73 for the version that doesn't have, that has the goggles, sorry, and the goggles that come with it are the same goggles you get with a lot of the Emax stuff, the white goggles that have an adjustable Fresnel lens in, they don't actually look that bad, I was tempted to buy the goggle version, just so I could review it, but I'm glad I didn't now because this isn't something I'll ever review and get rid of. This is something I'll review and keep because I love it so much. There's another version of this if you want to buy it from Banggood. They come an ear sheet. Emacs one, the difference I believe only is it is blue. So if you wanted another one to do some racing when you make around the house, you can buy it in blue. Not that you'd be bothered because you can't see out of it anyway. All you're seeing is from this camera so you know what car's yours. 
if we should have reviewed this before Christmas because this would have made the ideal Christmas gift for a kid. I don't mean like a five-year-old, but if you've got a kid like a teen, this would be absolutely amazing to get you into it. But for a big kid like me, I absolutely love it. Uh, I love it that much that I'm hoping they bring out another one or a different type of one, something a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and it has made me put a camera on a car. I've put a camera on a car a few times, but just to do videos. But a little bit ago, I reviewed a high boxing, I think it was about 50 quid car. Um, one and I put a camera on that and I have to play outside with and it's great but it's nothing like this this thing's just far better and I think it's because this camera is great that's in here I don't know what the range like I couldn't tell you but you're driving it inside so I don't know in the summer or when the weather gets a bit better I'll probably drive this outside and we can have a look what it looks like outside but at the minute and I believe that's a little button in here a little tiny button is how you adjust your channels all in all I think it's amazing Enjoy this little clip that's coming up. I have recorded it on my goggles so it's not like DJI quality when you've got DJI goggles but I have recorded it on the goggles on and you're going to see what it's like and you'll have to excuse that I've obviously filmed inside and if you've been in the UK recently you'll know that I, I, it's just cloudless and grey all the time at the minute. It's really weird weather. There's no virtual sunlight, it's just cloudy and grey but there's no clouds, it's just a grey sky so it makes the house quite dark so I've had the lights on but you'd have a look as good as artificial lighting. Enjoy! If ever I've recommended something on my channel and you've thought about buying it, take this my word at this. This is amazing. Um, this, I've not got an affiliate link on this or anything. I'm just telling you that because I think you'd have fun with it. Whoever you are, however old you are, and however experienced you are, it doesn't really matter. This is just fun. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.